Uh, many of those watching this video may have been among the 90,000 people who visited the Devon County Show last month. It showcases the life of the county in a fascinating way and gives a real boost to rural crafts, local produce and countryside activities alongside the fierce but friendly rivalry in the livestock and equestrian sections. We live in a part of the country with a wonderful diversity of high moorland and inner city, seaside town and rural hamlet, new housing estate and ancient village. Many come here as tourists or to retire, but this is also a place where most of us work, bring up our families and enjoy our leisure. 612 churches and chapels of the diocese are as varied in their locations and ministries as the communities they serve. In some, the congregation runs into hundreds, in others it can be counted on the fingers of one hand. During my time in Devon, I've been the rector of both. What they all have in common is the call to act as salt and light to the parishes where they're set. Salt adding flavour to the life of the community and light revealing the presence of God in Jesus Christ. We recall this month how that presence came in a new and transforming way at Pentecost as the Holy Spirit filled the first disciples with a joy and confidence to proclaim the wonderful works of God. The result was a community that devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to the prayers, as is described in Acts chapter 2. We talk a lot about wanting growth in the diocese, but growth, at least in numbers, is best seen not as an aim in itself. It is an outcome of the life of a healthy church, a church which, as in Acts, enjoys teaching and fellowship, breaking of bread and praying together. To have 612 churches around the diocese really does enrich our county's life.